What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the chronically charismatic Doctor Disaster, and during this Assassin's Creed Shadows backlash, one rotten trend in the video game industry has become evident. The so-called champions of diversity like to bully the hell out of people for having their own opinions. One of us. One of us. The release of the cinematic trailer for Assassin's Creed Shadows with their black samurai has been divisive at best and downright rejected in reality. The trailer is currently ratioed into oblivion and a developer for CD Projekt Red recently broke ranks with the rest of the industry and agreed with the gamers of the world, but he was very quickly made to apologize because the video game industry is built on groupthink. They will go to any lengths to try to keep opposing views out of their bubble, which is why the majority of their games these days don't resonate with audiences and generally land with a thud. Alright me hearties, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter where I keep a list of woke slash DEI infested games pinned to my account at all times for your reference. My handle over there is Dr. Disaster one but we're going to read about what happened with this developer getting smacked down for wrong think. It would be almost funny if it wasn't so sad. <laughs> It's a fake laugh. <laughs> it's real! Totally fake. That this article comes from That Park Place. CD Project Red senior lead weapon artist apologizes for noting criticism about Assassin's Creed Shadows is valid. Now one thing I'm going to throw out there, never apologize to these people. You set a precedent, if you do, for their moral authority, and you show weakness. And besides that, these wokesters are never appeased, so the apology doesn't help you anyway. But anyhow, the article says, CD Projekt Red senior lead weapon artist Michael Kaliz apologized for claiming that the criticisms Ubisoft and its development team are receiving for Assassin's Creed Shadows are valid. Initially, Kaliz took to Twitter and wrote, the concerns and criticism around Assassin's Creed Shadows are valid, and I personally think it might disrespect Japanese culture with the provided historical inaccuracy. People, especially Japanese people, have full right to oppose trends like this. Logical. Kaliz apologized for these comments on May 19th. He wrote, I've noticed criticism regarding my recent comment about Assassin's Creed Shadows. After reflecting on it and reading your responses and retweets, I realize I owe you an apology. He continued, First of all, I acknowledge that I am not qualified to share statements or discuss such topics. Your feedback has highlighted the importance of being more informed and respectful in my opinions. It has also shown me that we should be more open to new ideas and not restrict ourselves too much while creating new worlds. We all draw inspiration from a wide range of media, and that's great. I appreciate your patience and understanding. I've learned something valuable and will strive to do better in the future. Kalis concluded, I'm looking forward to the next Assassin's Creed. The setting intrigues me a lot. What a loser. Get a friend, loser. Now, the first thing I want to point out is how this never, literally never, goes the other way, does it? 
you never hear some woke a-hole say, you know, after reflecting on my toxic statements about, oh, let's say, white people, or men, or whatever they're whining about, but after reflecting on them, I realized I'm not qualified to discuss this topic. It never happens, and I'll tell you why. Because the pressure to be anti-woke comes from the bottom. It's a grassroots movement. It is simply built on people thinking for themselves. Whereas, the pressure to be a woke automaton comes from the top. Corporations want you to be unthinking tax cattle and wage slaves. That is what they want, and if you want evidence that what I'm saying is correct, that actually the opinion that this guy originally expressed is a popular grassroots opinion shared by the majority, then take a look at the trailer for this turd of a game. Assassin's Creed Shadows currently sits at a ratio of 265,000 likes to a whopping 592,000 dislikes. That is well over a 2 to 1 ratio. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, that's just a bunch of uneducated morons who don't know anything about Japanese culture. They do not get to have an opinion on this topic. Well, Look at the Japanese version of this trailer. It currently sits at 3.8 thousand upvotes to 39 thousand downvotes. That is a 10 to 1 ass whooping. The people have clearly spoken. This shit is about as popular as a turd that got stuck in the toilet. Come on, flush, you bastard. It would seem that this developer was bullied into changing his mind by his employer. He protected his account, as you can see here, and put out what read like very scripted corporate PR bullshit. And it's no surprise, considering the shit that has come out of CD Projekt Red lately. You might remember I did this video about a month and a half ago discussing why The Witcher 4 is destined to be a woke, unplayable piece piece of garbage, much like what Assassin's Creed Shadows looks to be. Sadly, if you think for yourself, there is no room for you in the video game industry. But I'm going to leave it there. What do you guys think? Did this person get bullied into changing his tweet, or did he simply see the light? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below, and we will talk there. Thanks for watching me, Hardies. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.